So you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. And what we have here, we take the log on both sides. At this here we have log 8 raised to the power hex equals to log 80 on this side. Then here we apply the power of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. At this here we have x log 8 equals to log 80 on this side. The next step here we divide both sides by log 8. At this divide this side by log 8. Also divide this side by log 8. At this here log 8 cancel each other and we have x equals to log 80 over log 8. The next step here, we can express 80 as 8 times 10, which implies here we have x equals to log 8 times 10 over log 8. That is, yeah, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, yeah, we have x equals to log 8 plus log 10 over log 8. Then here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 10 over log 8. That is here we have log 8 cancel each other and one left here which implies x equals to 1 plus log 10 over log 8. Then, next step here also, 10 can be expressed as 2 times 5. Then what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 5 over log 8. That is here, this also follows log logarithm, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 8. Then here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8. That is, from here, we have 8 equals to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is something as 2 raised to the power 3. At this here, we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 cube plus log 5 over log 2 cube. That is, here we apply the power of logarithm. 3 comes here and also here. Then we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 5 over 3 log 2. Then from here, we have log 2 cancelled each other. This becomes x equals to 1 plus 1 over 3, then plus. Here we have 1 over 3 times log 5 over log 2. Then, here we have x equals to 1 plus 1 over 3, can rise as 4 over 3, then plus 1 over 3, log 5 over log 2. Then here we apply change of base. That is when we have log a 
over log b. This is same thing as log a to base b. At this here we have x equals to 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 base 2. And we bring this together as one fraction and we have x equals to the same made as 3. This we have 4 plus log 5 base 2. That is the value of x here. We have x equals to 4 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 4 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3. That is, all we have here becomes 8 raised to the power 4 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 80 on this side? Then here we can write it as 2 raised to the power 3, which is raised to the power 4 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 80 on this side? Then here, yeah, this power multiplies. 3a cancel each other. We have 2 raised to the power 4 plus log 5 base 2. Is it equals to 80 on this side? And here, yeah, this follows when we have a raised to the power n plus n. This is the same thing as a raised to the power n. Then it's a raised to the power n. And this here we have 2 raised to the power 4. Then it's 2 raised to the power log 5 base 2. Is it equals to 80 on this side? And 2 raised to the power 4 here, 2 multiplied say 4 times, that's 16. And then this follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equals to b. Here we have 5. Is it equals to 80 on this side? And 16 times 5 here gives us 80, which is equals to 80 from here. And this left hand side equals to the right hand side then therefore we conclude that x equals to 4 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it some up and put your comment and see you next class bye for now